Okay. Um, let me look at my top. It's a DC kind of world today. You know, it kind of is. There's, there's not a lot else going on. You, you know, it was really weird that the fact that we're talking about DC and it's the opening weekend of Avatar. It's like somehow they found a way to break through something that shouldn't be penetrable. Is this but, by design? Maybe. Because I'm mean, sitting here thinking, like, I don't know why they're even talking. He didn't have to. Nobody He had. really didn't have to. But maybe it was because of the timing. It seemed like the timing of that tweet coincided with the timing of uh, Henry Cavill's Instagram post, and he put up that whole thing about him not being Superman anymore. Maybe dude just straight up walked out the meeting and was like, I'm about, I'm finna set these dudes on fire on Instagram right yeah, now. I mean, <laughs> baby, it could, it, it could be a lot of different things. It could be that. It could be the trades. You know, you got Deadline, Hollywood Reporter, Variety. A lot of them be either thirsty to drop the news or they they want to be first to break the news, etc. Yeah. Um, a lot of them also have independent sources and stuff. So, you know, and sometimes those other bigger trades force the hand of, you know, Gunn and other execs to, like, respond, you know. Um, It's not until it hits Deadline or Hollywood Reporter or whatever until Patty Jenkins or somebody's like, all right, look, I got (laughs) to debunk this. You know, I got to speak out on this. So, um, you know. I, I wouldn't say that, you know, this I'm not a conspiracy theorist like that. So I'm not gonna say any of this has to do with the timing of Avatar, but um, you know, correlation does not mean causation. I'll just go with that. Yo, James Gunn's brain in charge of DC, I can see it now. It's gonna be extremely entertaining. And like not in a good way. <laughs> like <laughs> Almost like in a I think entertaining is a great, (laughs) great way to describe it. Right? He's got Twitter fingers. He's just always ready. He's got a. uh, So it's like when Trump would tweet, I would be like, I would cringe, but it would be fine. So you're sitting here like, all right, how much damage is this going to do? Like, how? Let's watch this car crash. (laughs) So with him putting out this announcement of, well, it is a couple things he addressed. I was going to say, which one? Right, Which he put out, he addressed the Patty Jenkins thing, and I already. <sighs> like, okay, so I mean, let let let's let's start with that. Patty Jenkins at first was reported to basically be um, at odds with Warner Brothers Discovery. Yeah. She was. Re- it was reported that she even sent the email to Mike DeLuca or whoever the VP is over there or whatever yeah. saying like, yo, y'all don't understand character art. Let me send you a whole <laughs> wiki <laughs> article said, on wiki. what character development and character arc is. Yada, yada, yada. All because when she wanted to present her version of Wonder Woman 3, they were like, nah, this ain't <laughs> the direction we want to go with it, right? So... You know, according to reports, it was like, yo, this is Patty Jenkins is like done. And Wonder Woman 3 is canceled. So she came out on Twitter and she was like, okay, we're going to do, uh, or uh, let me clear this up. We're going to, uh, uh, um, she was like, yo, we had a great conversation. They're going in a different direction. The script that I had so far, it just, wasn't there however i'm willing to work with them i'm not sabotaging nothing i didn't walk away from the table i'm just waiting for them to get their ducks in a row which at the end of the day makes sense right (sighs) you know there's so many things i could say about that first off anybody who's if any kids are watching this any students learn lesson number one Never, ever, ever cite Wikipedia as a source. This is an open platform that people can edit at all There's times. that. There's, nobody's going to take you seriously if you start citing Wikipedia. Now, now first source. of all, let's just say that was allegedly. She didn't even, <laughs> she didn't even mention 
the email I, or I, nothing. I, so maybe that's true. Maybe it's not. We don't know. You know, just throw it that out. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Second off, you know, Patty Jenkins, she's like, I, I've been talking about her for a while. It seems like everyone who hires her, whether it's Marvel, whether it's Lucasfilm, whether it's DC, they always seem to feel like a level of regret, right? It's like that one person you wake up with the day after and you're like, you know, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say that only <laughs> because she also <laughs> went Wait. out of her way. She also went out of her way to talk about uh, Rogue Squadron. And she was like, look, that's oh. also still in active development. Yes. And we're still in good terms. So, but she, but she it, said it was put on the back burner because she was going to do Wonder Woman 3. Right. Whenever right. Kathleen Kennedy but they, had an but opportunity they gave her a new to promote deal. it. She said they gave her a new deal, too. They, so yes, they were like, they okay, we're going to wait. Deal. You know, and, and if that doesn't work out, okay, cool. Hey, now you can work on this. So It sounded like they were buying time. They were I buying time. <laughs> I don't know about buying time, but I do think that, for one, especially, you know, being a female in the industry who I think we know get negative repu reputations yes. quicker than men, she's trying to make sure that people are not going to go labeling her as difficult to work with. So um, she had to go out of her way and clear that up and be like, yo, like, I'm good on all these things. I'm not out there killing stuff. I'm not damaging anything. Like, I'm good with these companies. It's not like people don't like female directors. We do. If we, if you just got to be named Bryce Dallas Howard and then boom, instant internet love. But Patty Jenkins herself, like I said, I, it, it feels like to me, it like was an opportunity for them to buy time. They could have moved forward with developing or tried to say something about that Rogue Squadron movie for the past two years. But instead, they took it off the slate when she revealed that they actually gave her more time to wait and uh, work on Wonder Woman first and then come back. It reminded me of like what they've done with Ryan Johnson and his Star Wars trilogy. It's like, maybe we'll do it. Let's see how your other work turns out first. And if not, eh, we'll, we'll make a decision. Um, Wonder Woman 2 was a not well received so i can imagine um lucasfilm getting spooked a little about moving forward with this patty jenkins movie when she delivered something that wasn't that well received go out there give it another shot you don't have a lot of films under your resume let us see what you do with another wonder woman movie let warner brothers put their money towards it right and then come back right now it is what she's trying to do to like save face, save her career. Like, look, I'm going to bounce back from Wonder Woman to Star Wars. That sounds great, but it's not, it's not looking good, especially when you don't have a lot of successful, well-received films on, on your, on your resume. Right. That's the same thing I used to say about JJ. Same thing I say about James Gunn. You, you need to show me your body of work for me to believe you. She ain't got it. I mean, Patty Jenkins is not, some amateur that's struggling you no. know i mean she made one movie she's got first of all she's got a movie under her belt that is a, an award winner the bill paxton the, movie the which one the bill paxton movie what movie are you talking about um what was that monster that she yeah. did or what well, I, I think bill paxton starred in that right so i mean i think of charlie's theron for that one but she's gotten uh, she's got an award-winning Thing under her belt she has a success with wonder woman you know the first one yeah the second one was a miss and that happens you know yeah. like everybody's not perfect she yeah. also has done uh what she did some arrested development she did some other tv work like she's not some scrub no that's out no, there no you know I'm just that saying... like no i'm no what i'm saying is that she's not some scrub that needs to prove herself to studios you know she has put enough stuff out there well they'll be like yo okay we know what you got yeah you might have missed one time but yo who doesn't miss that's a lot of money to miss some with. people some people miss it's, unless, I mean, unless you're James already Cameron. trying to save face right they can't really put out another miss right now right they, i mean they one miss ain't finna that's not look wonder woman 2 is right not gonna now. be a determinant of What's going to happen with Rogue Squadron? Now, no. because what you're doing is you're making it sound as though her name is Patty Shyamalan. 
No, no, I'm just saying Kathleen here. Kennedy is spooked. She's not in the best of situations. Nobody spooked it... over Pat, Patty Jenkins. I think Kathleen Kennedy is You would Kennedy be spooked if spooked. you had M. Knight with you. If Kathleen M. Knight Kennedy. Shyamalan signed on, you'd be like, hold on, bro. Let, let's see what you do first. Nobody spooked about Patty Jenkins yet. There's nothing to be spooked of. I think Kathleen Kennedy is spooked because of her her personal track his record with putting out Star Wars films. And to say, hey, I put out a few duds in a row. Like, if I put out five films and only one of them popped, and Bob Iger's looking at me, well, and I'm telling him I'm giving him the director that did Wonder Woman 1984 as our next theatrical release, that's not that's not a good situation to be in. It don't look, it don't make me feel comfortable if that, that was my that, job. That is not how they would present it. That is not how they would present it. And on top of that, Kathleen Kennedy is on the way out, according to reports, anyway. So after Indy but Five, she's out. She's of here. the one. She's the one who hired Patty Jenkins, right? It might be just the same thing, like when James Gunn was walking in, and he's like, "Oh snap, Henry Cavill got announced." Well, let's move on to that then. <laughs> right? Like, no, I'm just saying, like, whoever is going to maybe inherit or if they're thinking about who might be taking over Lucasfilm after Kathleen Kennedy, that person may not want to inherit a Patty Jenkins film, right? That's all I mean by that. They'll we, cross that bridge gotta... when they get there. But as we know for now, Patty Jenkins is still attached. It's yeah. still an active development. Now, she did mention... We don't know if it's actually going to happen. Like, it only happens when it actually happens. Because anything can get scrapped at any time. At any but time. she was like, yo, it's still on the table. Yeah. Until so somebody we'll, says otherwise. We'll see. Maybe she'll work in the rebooted DC universe and they'll find a way to move forward. Maybe. Maybe. 